The BMW i5 is finally here in Ireland, although you won't see one on the road for, well, towards the end of this year into 2024. Now, what's different about this version of the 5 Series is there's still a plug-in hybrid, there's still a 520i petrol, that's the cheapest one, at €70,000, or you can get an all-electric i5 starting from €90,000. The range topping M60 is 120 grand. So there's quite a difference in price depending on what your budget caters to. We can't drive this car, but we're gonna have a little look around today. We're gonna to check out the quality of the interior. Does it feel like a five series has always felt like? Is it potentially even better? So hit subscribe if you haven't yet, please. And let's take a look in detail. Let's give you the battery stuff. First of all, 81.2 kilowatt hour battery. That's the usable. Uh, performance wise, there's plenty of performance in this car and there's something for everybody because you can get the 530E, the PHEV version. You can get the 520i petrol, um, the M60 version, which will do not to 60 in a little over three seconds, which is pretty impressive. The standard car comes with 340 brake horsepower, that's the i5 E40, and it's 601 brake horsepower, almost 800 newton meters of torque in the M60 version. What's also cool is all versions of the electric uh, version of the car will come with 11 kilowatt on board. You can option 22 kilowatt apart from the M60, that has it as standard. And that means even using a street charger, you'll get to 100% in little over four hours. And you're not worrying about overstay fees or anything like that. Obviously you're gonna charge this at home, ideally uh, on your wall box at seven odd kilowatts and you'll do that overnight and it'll be fine. Uh, and the DC charging is over 200 uh, kilowatts and you'll get from 10 to 80% in about half an hour or what BMW call a full charge. They have a thing they call max range mode, which essentially is like when you put on the eco mode in a car, it reduces some of the, the comfort things that prioritizes range over them. Things like climate control, but because it's BMW, they want to give it a fancy max range sounding uh, situation. This one is sitting on 20 inch alloy wheels. As BMWs go as of, as of late, it's, it's quite an attractive front grille. You have an LED surround on the kidney grille as well but it's all closed and just black on this M Sport version of it. But considering like the XM, for example, which has these huge uh, set of kidney grills in the front, that's actually quite conservative and not a bad looking car at the front. And you have that iconic uh, kind of crease here uh, to up the bonnet and then on either outer edges of the bonnet of the car as well. No frunk underneath and that is quite a long bonnet. It's only when you stand in front of it, you go, God, that's huge. They've decided to do packs essentially with this car. So there's about four, four to five, and then there's 10 optional extras, things like uh, sun protection glass. You can have that as a specific extra that used to come as part of a pack. They range from sort of 2000 euro to 4000 euro. And then in the M performance, the M60 version of it, uh, it's about 15,000 euro to bolt onto the car's price, but that has absolutely everything, head up display, M Sport, everything, all the optional extras that you'd ever want on a car, it has them. So it's 15 centimeters longer, Hofmeister kink, it's still there, it'd have to be, it's not a BMW without it, to be honest with you. Uh, there's a little five engraved here in the black uh, edges of the car, your charging port, is on this side. It actually sits a little bit higher. Uh, and one of the benefits of this version over the previous is there's more leg room in the back of the car. Because the Pfizer was actually, it was a little bit tight for an executive saloon. And this is all kinds of optional extras like privacy blinds on the side. You know, we're more used to this kind of stuff on the i7, but actually I'll get back to it later on. But the i7 and the interior of this aren't that different. So, it's a massive jump in price if you're going for an electric version of the, uh, the 5 Series. Uh, 70 grand is still dear. It's not too long ago since you could buy one for sort of low 50s. Uh, but it's going to be 90 onwards for the electric version, but still a lot of stuff on board and included in the car. A lovely M Sport boot lip spoiler 
E-Drive 40 and iDrive on either side of the boot. A uh, little blue circumference around the BMW badge to signal that this is an electrified version of the car. Um, nothing fancy down there for fake exhaust, none of that messing. Interestingly, quite a bit of progress on the boot. So the last gen 530E was about 400 litres in the boot. Uh, the electric, the full electric version of the car is now 490. And the PHEV version of the petrol version is 520 litres. That's a big improvement. It is still quite shallow, the opening of the car. So trying to get larger items will still be a struggle. Kind of always was in the 5 Series, but it certainly goes in a little bit further uh, the space below here for a type 2 cable because there's no frunk on board um, but that's quite deep and you know you won't struggle to fit stuff in there and actually probably get a bit more than just your cables there so that's commendable and it's an electric uh, operated tailgate on this version of the car so let me know your thoughts um, on the overall car it's uh, you're not going to look at this and not know what it is you're still going to say that's a five series. Now, one thing the have promised is a bit more leg room in the back of the i5, and it feels like they've done it. These seats are really far back, but there's still good clearance for feet. Now, because it's also a petrol car, you have a significant drivetrain hump, even in the electrified version of the car. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, you have digital climate control, two USB-C ports, these new, kind of weird twisty dial things that BMW put into the air vents. The backs of the seats then have charging ports for devices, much like the iX and the i7. Um, this kind of has, has a two-tone leather, so it's black on the top. Still get the M Sport uh, colors on the seat belts, uh, center armrest, which is not the longest. And it, you know, rises above the seat, but you know, this is meant to be a, a three-person bench on the back, not like, for example, the i7 where this comes down, you've got climate control and all kinds of gadgets in that to take up space. Um, and then you have your glass roof in this car and that doesn't really encroach on headspace. There's still plenty of it and they've got a little groove then further in the roof lining if you were that bit taller. So they've, you know, they've really made a a decent attempt at making the back of the car feel a little bit more spacious you know knee room is all right here and certainly head height when you're sitting down and comfortable it's actually good support for the ties as well on the back of these lovely leather seats don't worry still feels like a bmw when you close the door big huge thud um, so because this is a static car, some of the displays and stuff are kind of demonstrating what they look like in real life. Uh, great head-up display, all your shortcuts, answer the phone, uh, you can see who's calling you all there. You shouldn't have to take your eyes off the road. Uh, very much business as usual here from BMW of the last few years. A lot going on though. There's a lot of apps that you can get your head around, but you know, huge flexibility and versatility in what you can, you can do with this vehicle. You can, of course, uh, precondition time the charging so that it's charging overnight or whatever uh, you want to do. You've got heated seats. This strip will change colour. Um, you can also, it'll flash red to warn you if you put the hazard lights on, for example, straight out of the i7. So it is in many ways, I mean, it's not as big, it's not as grandiose as the i7 in any way, but even this kind of centre area where it has physical buttons on it, it's kind of a carbon copy, just kind of a, a more baby version. Two wireless charging plates going on here. There's drinks holders, uh, you know, a nice uh, rimless glass, uh, rear view, a uh, mirror. You've got an interior monitor camera there as well, depending on what options you have set up in the car. Some of these could be a subscription service as well, depending on what you want. Um, I can say there is an area of this car that feels like maybe lesser brands have, where they've, they've skimped on plastic interiors. It is wonderfully BMW, uh, Barrows and Wilkins sound system. M Sport gets this nice silver aluminium finish in the car and your steering wheel is as BMW as ever, thick and chunky. Uh, again, what you're used to. Not sure if the horn works, but certainly doesn't on this occasion. A nice big armrest uh, space down below and the seats are comfortable. They've got uh, leg tight extenders on the back. So again, a BMW fan or existing customer is gonna get into this, feel very much at home, look at this boost paddle here and say, oh, what does that do? But you know, you're gonna feel like you're at home in a BMW. 
for example that interior camera that comes as part of a, a technology pack that's 2400 euro so depending on what you're into you might be more into comfort you might be more into tech you can kind of pick and choose by slapping on between two and four and five thousand euro onto the price of the car if you do like your driving as well you might want to consider the one of these 10 single options that you can do is which is the adaptive suspension so i think at the 90,000 euro price point and entry point they're kind of on a par with the eqe from mercedes for example uh, the electric version of the audi a6 they're all going to be around that price now the fact that you can spec just about every kind of pack that you ever might want means there's versatility but it's just going to creep up you can buy a petrol one for 70 grand and it's quite a jump to go fully electric but i get some people will want to but i think there's definitely going to be a camp who think 520i m sport maybe even m performance nice wheels nice interior and i'll still have a change out of 90,000 euro so that's going to be but at least the option is there they haven't come out and said no we're just doing an electrified 5 series no petrol anymore um so so that's good There's still options you're not gonna if it was electric only you'd be saying okay well like I'm, i can't get a 5 series anymore so at least they've kind of kept that going for now like as well the bmw ireland have made the m sport the entry level version of this car for ireland the warranty they're providing is eight years or 160,000 kilometers which is decent I would love to see a manufacturer creep into 200,000 kilometers. Somebody go and be the first. You know the quota figure of 575 kilometers from a charge is going to be optimistic, especially when you drive it on. I found that with the i4 and the i7. It's got really intelligent heat uh, pump technology and you know it can use the best of its ability to try and be as efficient as possible it's from about 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is the quoted figure so that means you really should definitely get over 400 kilometers out of it anyway uh, when the weather is colder or whatever but maybe on a nice summer's day it's like 27 degrees outside as we film this car today you probably definitely get over 500 kilometers but it just depends on that right foot it is a bmw after all so very much business as usual beautifully made car still good looking i think the front they've done an, an exceptional job because some of the bmw designs at the moment are a bit this is not the case with the i5 good looking car you can order it in the next little while probably won't be until january 2024 and 24 before we see these cars on irish roads i hope i've given you a decent enough first look at the car can't get to drive it just just now hopefully that will happen soon any comments what do you think of it let us know below are you still going to be a, a five series owner with this version of the five in the eighth generation thank you very much for watching i'll see you on the next one